If you're following me on Instagram, I asked you guys what are three of your favorite plugins that you like to use for recording, music production, mixing, songwriting, or like VSTs, different instruments. Because I'm going to be trying to do a handful of EPs this year and I want to get out of my own little bubble of plugins that I like. I'll tell you which ones I like at the end of the video. But let's go through some of the things that you guys said. And if you're not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram so you can participate in stuff like this. Okay, here we go. Holy, there's a lot. <laughs> there's even more than a lot. Producer Daniel Dennis. What's up, Daniel? He says, Valhalla Vintage Verb as a creative tool. That's a great one. The PA SSL E strip. Great sound, easy PA. Is that Plugin Alliance? It's gotta be, right? And then Soothe 2, that is an amazing plugin. Uh, and he says, for anything harsh. That's true, I've actually used Soothe, uh, not just on vocals, sometimes on guitars, like electric guitar cabs, or even on drums, like drum rooms or overheads. It can be super useful. My friend Yohai, Yohai Portal. What's up, dude? Number one, UAD Oceanway Studios, which is their room reverb plugin, and that is a really, really good one. The Fab Filter Pro L2, that is the limiter that I love. UAD SSL G Bus, good ones, good ones. Slee.man says Pro Q3, best EQ, Vertigo VSC2, best bus comp. I haven't heard of that one, so I'll have to check that out. The Decapitator for the Vibe Machine. And the Decapitator is 100% of the time in my sessions. Eat some french fries from Freddy's. The Tall Ferris says Wolf. That's a tricky one to say. Wolf Compressor. Sheps Parallel Particles. And the Decapitator. There's no explanation here. I've never used the Wolf Compressor or the Sheps Parallel Particles. Sounds cool. Little Light Recording says Sound Toys Radiator, Sound Toys Decapitator, and Clang Helm MJUC Jr. Love the vibe and saturation. Never even heard of that. I have to check that out. My friend Zane, Steven Zane on Instagram. Sooth2, great. Arturia Tape Molo. I might have that. Never used that. And the PA Black Box. I gotta get that one. I've heard that from a lot of people uh, that I know. The Black Box from Plugin Alliance. Mayan, sorry dude, Mayan.rock, Pro Q3, Slate Digital VMR, that's the virtual mix rack, so it's a ton of different stuff. And then Ozone 9, these are all fantastic. I don't have the 9, it'd be nice to upgrade. Off Shift Pro says Track Spacer Low End for Low End Clarity, Little Plate as the reverb send for everything, that's a Slate plugin. And then the SPL Transient Designer for Punch and Drums, yeah. I've never used the track spacer, but the SPL and the little plate are both really good. The little plate is slight, and the SPL, uh, there's a bunch of different plugin companies that make it have the UAD version. Just to recap the top three, we've got Sound Toys. I'm gonna go by company here because it's a lot of repeats. We got Sound Toys, UAD, Slate, Waves, and Sooth. The first four all make a variety of different plugins, and then the fifth one just makes one plugin. I think, I could be wrong on that. And Valhalla, Valhalla was in there a lot. So these are my top three picks, or your top three picks. Mostly mixing stuff. So I'll tell you, my top three is uh, actually very close. 100% of the time I'm using Fab Filter just because uh, it's a great EQ, the Pro Q3. And then the UAD, I don't use that many of them. I use the 1176 LN all the time. Comes free with an Apollo. So oh, also the Fab Filter Pro L2 is, in my opinion, one of the better plug-in limiters that you can use. It's fantastic. General, oh, Sound Toys Decapitator. Just those three are really getting me pretty far. I will give a shout out to Slate because I use their virtual bus compressor, the gray one, on my drum bus all the time. And I'll even try out like the SSLG bus and some other ones and the Fairchild and I always come back to the virtual bus compressor for my drum bus. It just, it just immediately sounds right to my ears. And as far as like instruments, the ones that I'm exploring right now are Arturia, their Analog Lab, and then Contact, the complete. Yeah, I think the go-tos on that one are like the Felt 
piano. Can't remember the name of the actual piano instrument. And then, yeah, and then the Opus library, or Opus from East West, the East West strings and all that stuff are beautiful for organic instruments. And then Arturia, I had already mentioned, is just fantastic for like synths and just like, they have like the old, vintage synths and organs and stuff like that. If you didn't apply to this, let me know what you guys like to use. And if we're all using the same stuff, maybe there's a reason why, because it all rocks. But if there's any new gems out there, I would love to know about it and be able to try some. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Hey dude. Hey, what's up? Three go-tos that y you really love. It doesn't have to be three. I'm just saying three, because. How much time do we got? I could probably give you 50. <laughs> uh, Fab Filter Pro Q3, the yep. EQ. Okay. Go to transparent EQ. UA 176 compressor. 176? 176. Oh. Uh, it's absolutely incredible. I like it better than the 1176 plugins. Okay. It's really, really good. I have to say Valhalla reverbs and delays. Yeah. Then I'd have to say all the Fab Filter stuff the multi band, the compressor, yeah. the EQ, all the Fab Filter stuff. And then the Brainworks SSL channels. Mm, Those are like my on every single mix, no matter what. Also, Black Box, the Plugin Alliance Black Box. Oh, yeah. And the Kazrog True Iron. Okay, yeah, yeah. Those are good. My friend Jared told me about those last two. Yes. I have never used those and have good. no idea what they do, but... They're very good. Cool. Yes. Mix bus. What are you throwing on the mix bus? Do you use plugins on the mix bus? Yep. Yep. So my mix bus currently, foreshadowing my future video, let's yes. just throw it all out there. So my mix bus currently is um, the UA Chandler Curve Bender plugin, the Fab Filter Pro Q3, and then it goes out to a pair of Cappy Hyder mic preamps I mix through the mic preamps from the mic preamps it goes to a serpent sb4001 uh, hardware compressor and then back in and then usually saturation after that which is either true iron or the black box depending on the black box is more aggressive the true iron is more subtle and natural sounding so depending on the song those are usually on there and then i put a limiter on the mix bus and once I'm like 90% of the way through the mix, the limiter gets kind of slammed to almost mastering levels to check mm -hmm. and make sure it holds up. Sure. And then I will turn it down a little bit before printing the mix to go to a client because mm. clients need it loud or they think it doesn't hit hard enough. It's a yes. psychological trick. Yes. But then also you don't want to send it to them at true master volume yes. or at above mastering volume because then the master doesn't seem as impressive. Yeah. There's a bunch of psychological tricks in here. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so that's the mix bus. Awesome, thank yeah. you. Absolutely. Also, if you're looking to get some plugins and you didn't know this, you can get them at Sweetwater. Sweetwater sponsored in this video. Some of the plugins that I want to get that I haven't gotten yet are Isotope. I have a couple of theirs, but they're outdated. I'd love to re-up, upgrade my Isotope pack. My friend, Judah showed me this like vocal synth plugin that they have that is so sick. I don't even remember what it's called, but I want to vocal synth. Vocal synth. Yeah, that's that's a good name for a vocal synth plugin. Yeah, if you didn't know, you guys can support the channel by using the links in the description. If you're already going to be getting plugins, you use that supports the channel. I guess we'll get back to making other videos. We're here in Austin and doing a bunch of studio tours, and uh, it's pretty it's pretty good. Should be some good stuff coming out. Okay. Bye.